Hey climbers, um, just a quick, I just want to talk about a, a couple of things this morning. Um, the, the first thing is here we are in this, in this, uh, self-isolation COVID, um, uh, era, uh, and a, a major concern of climbers, actually a major concern, concern of climbers anytime is the loss of any level of their fitness. And, and we'll go, I'll go into this. Uh, a million times, but climbing is unique because it requires that we have high levels of power and high levels of strength and mobility and endurance and anaerobic capacity, all, all these different things. Um, and some of those things are in conflict with each other and some of those things are really hard to maintain. Um, and so the, one of the beauties of the sport and one of the reasons that we can still be good at it when we're old and when we're young and, and when, when we have certain disabilities or immobilities or whatever is that there are all these really fa cool facets to training. And so when we look at losing or, or what, having one of them drop off a little bit, I don't think it's that big a deal, but one of the, the fundamental, uh, facets of your fitness is your capacity, your absolute basic work capacity. And this is a super easy thing to lose if you're sitting in your apartment watching Netflix. Now, if you think back to pre-COVID time, you need to think about, and, and I'm sure you've done a good job of keeping your training log because we've been harping on you training logging this whole time, but you should look back, how many hours per week am I doing at any given level of intensity? If you look back on a weekly training log, even if you don't do a weekly assessment of your training, you should be able to go, oh, okay, I did, you know, I walked, you know, uh, 150 minutes and I lifted weights for 90 minutes and I bouldered for, for 210 minutes. You should be able to find how much duration at different levels of intensity you had. And even if you just say low intensity, medium intensity, and high intensity, you should be able to take each of those and go, okay, that's about what my work capacity was. This is how much I was getting away with in a week. Now, if you look at what you're doing now, you're doing some kind of kick-ass uh, body weight um, hangboard program and some you know, lame-ass ab program from some pro climber, um, you are going to see that your total work capacity has dropped off. If you're just on the hangboard three days a week and you're just doing crunches on the floor three days a week, your, your work capacity might be tanking. And so it doesn't matter how strong you get your fingers or your abs or whatever, your, your big limiter coming out of this thing is gonna be work capacity. And so get out there and go for a walk. The, the, the step into getting your capacity back is just getting the hours in, right? And so what we're gonna do is build those hours get back up to where you've got a total of nine, 10 hours of training going. Um, and then you can start adding intensity to those hours. Even if it means like, okay, instead of just walking around town, I'm gonna you know, jog up this hill in the park on my way back to the house. Or I'm gonna stop and do some push-ups or do the like outdoor circuit at the park. Whatever it is to get you just to where you can have that work capacity and then start addressing your low, medium, and high intensity stuff. Yes, you can be hangboarding. Yes, you can be doing uh, other strength training at your house, but the, the fundamental thing that you need to be doing is capacity. And so as we, as we look at trying to ramp back into a more normal schedule, and whether that's this month or next month or the month after, one of the things you're gonna have to address in addition to just staying basically strong is having some basic capacity. Don't worry about your, your uh, anaerobic fitness, your, you know, your power endurance stuff. That stuff will come right, ripping right back. If you have a high enough aerobic capacity and a high enough level of strength and power, um, everything else becomes quite easy to put back together. So get out there, get the hours in, and then we can make it more specific once you can get back to the crag or to the climbing gym or whatever.